In Gaza, children are dying. These latest victims, killed according to their father by an Israeli tank shell that hit their house as Israel presses its ground offensive. <laughs> in Gaza's main hospital, foreign doctors say that since the ground incursion began, almost one third of casualties have been children. The injured uh, patients are mainly civilians, a lot of children and they have uh, dreadful injuries uh, with multiple fractures in to the uh, stomach, the chest and the head. Hamas is using the images of innocent suffering to rally support. This boy is asked how he is doing. He replies, I'm saluting my country and my people. His doctor tells him, you guys in your neighborhood are the first in the jihad in fighting, capturing and killing. But away from the spotlight, children are showing their fears. This girl's friend killed in an attack on a Hamas house. She could be my sister, you know. She's my friend. Maybe my sister would die someday, so I'm really afraid. <laughs> Palestinian psychiatrist Dr. Ayad Al Siraj treats children in Gaza. Today's children are experiencing a serious form of trauma, and I fear for the future. It's a future, he says, he's seen before with past Palestinian uprisings or intifada. The children of the first intifada were throwing stones at the Israeli soldiers, and because of the trauma in which they were subjected to, 10 years later, the children became suicide bombers. I was waiting for the right... On the Israeli side of the border, where Hamas rockets land every day, it's hard to find anyone on the streets, let alone children. Hi, how are you? The few we do find are close to their homes. They are subjued. How, how do you mean? I mean, when you hear this, the noise of the warning, the siren, what, what are you thinking? Fear. Playgrounds have their own bunkers and sirens warn of Hamas rocket attacks. But despite the precautions, in the past eight years many children have been injured. The threat of Hamas rockets is taken so seriously in the south of Israel that almost all schools like this one that are within rocket range of Gaza have locked their gates, told the children to stay at home. According to the Israeli government, 300,000 students are affected. Israeli psychiatrist Gabi Schreiber tells me Israeli children get excellent help, structured support, unlike, he fears, children in Gaza. Where is hope for them? And how can they structure their future in, in their uh, mind? Then they can become extremists, etc. If they don't get sort of yes. a, a, a better hope for the future. Yes. It's a rare note of agreement from both sides in this conflict that is sowing the seeds for future violence. Nick Robertson, CNN, Sturrod, Israel.